Hey everybody, it's your buddies pal Anthony and tonight I'm going to be tackling something that usually the boss handles for us. Tonight I'm going to be unboxing the HasLab Proton Pack as well as the HasLab Neutrona Wand. Big thanks to Dan of the Buffalo Ghostbusters. He uh, helped me secure this Proton Pack. The Neutrona Wand I grabbed along with Steve during HasLab's recent sale, but this Proton Pack you can't get it anymore. Dan of the Buffalo Ghostbusters, great guy, met him recently at the Ghostbusters Day event. We got to talking, told him our plans for New York Comic Con, said, yeah, I gotta build it, I gotta build it, I gotta buy something, too bad I missed the HasLab, oh, I'm so dumb, and he was able to help me out. So, again, Dan, thank you so much. This video literally couldn't happen without you, and bear with me, because this is my first time unboxing. So, Steve, roll that intro, please. Take a look. Perfect. Shall we? Plenty of pictures coming in the days and weeks that follow, but wow, they really, they really made it. I have the piece in the box to add. There's the, uh, looks like brass fitting that comes out of there. The bracket for the wand. I'll take this off now, but you unscrew this. Take off the bracket, take this out, and you can actually access the cyclotron. Next up, we're going to be unboxing the wand, and I'm actually not going to turn this thing on until I've done my first modification, which is to add an Alice frame to it. To hang on the proton pack, that's pretty cool. I'm assuming this is to hang on your belt, which is awesome because I've heard it's actually a kind of a pain in the ass to line this thing up. Three toggle switches, an intensify button, 
the orange button up here does something. I'm a lefty, so I'm going to have to see. I don't know if it makes sense to... We can figure all that out later. I realized after I had cleaned up a little bit that there was still something else to unbox in here. So let's do that together. I love this box. I wish it was, I mean, it would have been even more expensive. I wish it was actual wood or yeah, I wish it was an actual box instead of just cardboard. Anyway, does this look familiar to anybody? Like the floorboard in Afterlife where she finds the trap? Ta-da. Maybe doing this without a tripod was a mistake. We have the slime, which I assume is glow in the dark. little marshmallows Third time's a charm. Thank you guys for sticking with me this long. I am Anthony the Rambling Nerd. Check out Steve's videos and mine on the road to New York Comic Con on Nerd Affiliated. Coming up, I'm going to do my first mod to this thing. I'm going to throw my Alice frame on it. And during that, I'll also install the batteries, actually connect the wand to the pack, and turn this thing on for the first time. I hope you guys are as happy as I am right now. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to keep in touch with us any further, check us out on Instagram, Reddit, Discord, and any other social media platform. All of our links are going to be down on the bottom. Most importantly, this wouldn't be able to happen without you guys. Every video we do is sponsored by you. Check out the Nerd Foundation and become a member. Or go to nerdaffiliated.com and pick up some of our great merch. Carpe Nocturne, everybody. See you around. Mm -hmm.